legs. So I am doing the spring cleaning book tag. I was tagged by Book Syrup and she also created the tag. So thank you for creating a fun tag and also for tagging me. And I will leave her original video down below so you can check it out. And yeah. Number one, the struggle of getting started. A book or book series that you have struggled to begin because of its size. I think maybe uh, a throne of glass. I am a little intimidated by it because it's like super fantasy I think and I have trouble getting into that but also it's just a continually growing series and the books also seem to be getting bigger as it goes and I kind of don't want to get into it because it's big. Cleaning out the closet. A book or book series you want to unhaul. I'm gonna say kind of the Under the Never Sky books. I enjoyed them but they were kind of meh to me like they were good but there was nothing special about them at all, and I honestly don't understand the hype around them. <laughs> um, and I kind of want to get rid of them just because they were meh, and like I could have, like, I don't know, room for other books that I might enjoy better on my shelf, but at the same time, like, I read them and I have all three of them and they look nice on my shelf, so I also kind of don't want to unhaul them, and so I don't know what to do. Opening the windows and letting the fresh air in. A book that was refreshing. Ooh! I'm gonna go with this one. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. It doesn't have, like, any like teen angst boy girl drama and it was also magical and I really liked the writing style it was very like storybook type writing and I feel like just a lot of it a lot about the story and the way that it was told and the characters that were in it and the lessons that they learned and how they learned them I feel like was quite refreshing. <laughs> Washing out sheet stains a book you wish you could rewrite a certain scene in. I wish I could rewrite the scene in this where they talk about Canada like idiots. I kind of wish I could just rewrite this entire book to be honest. <laughs> what do they say? Lots of flights to Can lots of flights to Canada. Vancouver, Ottawa, BC. Ooh, I have another one actually. So two answers. Hooray, this one's more of an answer. Um I can't really say much without giving anything away, but uh pancakes I'm gonna say that if you've read it, that scene really bothered me and I wish it either didn't happen at all, happened differently and the reaction to it was different, or there was more afterwards. There was just a lot about that that bothered me <laughs> about the story. Yep. Throwing out unnecessary knickknacks. A book in a series which you didn't feel was necessary. My opinion is not totally like justified because I haven't read the other ones. I've actually read one book from this series to begin with. But I read Between Heaven and Earth by Eric Walters, which is part of Seven the Series, which is, it has seven books all written by different authors and they're all about different people, but they're all from the same family and they're all kind of doing something that's based around the same thing. So you don't have to read them in any specific order and you don't even really have to read them all, but Yes, and there are sequels to them now, so there's seven the series and there's seven the sequels, and I just think that's stupid and a money grab, and I feel like that is the only reason there are sequels, and I just feel like that's stupid. At the, it's, I think it's incredibly dumb to have a series like this with all different books by different authors about different people and then make sequels to them all, which just, it just, ugh, like seriously, why? <laughs> Polishing the Doorknobs, a book that had a clean finish. Uh, one is vicious because it it's actually it ends wonderfully. It ends by um, allowing there to be a sequel if you want there to be a sequel or if the author wants to write a sequel, but it also ends in a way that can leave the book as just one book as well. It works as a standalone, but it also can continue into a series easily and I really, really liked that about it. Also, the ending of The Night Circus. Um, I love the ending to this. It's absolutely fantastic. There's something really, really cool about it that you can do in real life that I have done. <laughs> if, you, if, if you've read it, you know. I don't want to give anything away, but it's really an awesome, awesome ending, and I absolutely love it, and it just, like, makes the story even more magical than it already was before it, and I'm just getting goosebumps thinking about it. I love it so much. Reaching for the Dust Fan, a book that tried too hard to relay a certain message. Uh, I don't know if I have one. 
I don't think I have one for that. I'm really sorry. It's tiring yet satisfying finish of a spring cleaning. A book series that was tiring to get through but satisfying to finish. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Delirium, the Delirium series. So I have the last book, Requiem. I really, really, really love Delirium a lot. I flew through it and I loved the writing and I immediately went out and bought the second book. But then the second book took me a little bit longer to get through because it, I feel like it wasn't the same as the first one, and I still liked it, but I didn't like it nearly as much as the first one. And so I was always contemplating whether or not I should get the third one, because I kind of wanted to know how the story ended, but the second one was so different from the first one, and I didn't know how much I was going to like it. And I finally ended up getting Requiem, and it wasn't still as good as the first one, but it was better than the second one, and I felt like this book made up for the second one. So this one is like dual perspective. And I didn't like Lena's chapters very much. I really liked Hannah's chapters. So when I was reading Lena's chapters, I was like, blah, <laughs> Frank, let's get on with it. And then every time I got to Hannah's chapters, I was like, hooray. So the book was a little bit difficult to get through in some parts because sometimes Lena bothered me. Um, <clears throat> but I really enjoyed Hannah's chapters. And I really liked the way the story came together. And I liked the way it ended. And I thought it was an awesome ending. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Looking forward to next spring, tag four people who you want to do this tag. I'm going to tag Ray of Sunshine Books, the booktube girl, even though I don't think it's spring for her right now, but I'm going to tag you anyway. And Elizabeth Page and April Sarah, so you guys can do this tag and have fun. Bye!